so we need to nip this in the bud. So we have had a win, which is fantastic, and that's all down to you guys really standing up, and I appreciate that, but the fight's not over. So if you aren't familiar with Soji123, I ask you to go and check it out. This is not good. It's not good for anybody. Um, wanted to also just speak to kind of what we're here for and want to make sure that at some point in time the media gets proven wrong. We are not about hate. We are not about extermination, exterminating one group or another. What we are here is to stop our children from being sexually oriented. And this is not just to say that they can't be gay or they can't be trans or they can't be whatever. This is going as far as teaching our children to touch themselves. For those of you that don't believe that Lumsden had those cards, Lumsden is my school. That is my kid's school. We saw those cards. They were not accidentally given and somebody did not steal it out of the bin. Those kids were sat down at round tables and they were given ABC cards and told to discuss it. Gonna be a little vulgar, so if you have little ones, please cover their ears. A's for auto fellatio. Anybody know what that is? <laughs> <laughs> right? Good. Don't know. Keep it that way. It goes down, talks, talks about the glory hole, fisting. <laughs> I'm literally just trying not to throw up right now, but I think it's important because we keep hiding behind this issue. And we keep saying, nope, it didn't happen. Nope, it didn't happen. For anybody that wants to see the cards, I have them on my phone. I do keep them. I don't read them very often because they make me sick. Felching urinating on each other, playing with your feces, dingleberries. Guys, this is serious. This is not a joke. This isn't about hating anyone. This is about protecting our children's innocence. And as parents, if we cannot protect our children and allow them to grow naturally, what are we doing? I can't hear you guys. Are y'all sleeping? I'm riled. Like if I said the riders are going to lose today, is that right? am I going to get some hate? What's going on? <laughs> Don't tell them I said that. I'm sure they're watching right now because they love me. <laughs> but we need to keep standing. We need to keep sending these petitions. But it's the public coming together like this. It is the groups. It is the communities that are coming together in love, putting aside our differences, Right now, we are in a time of turmoil. We need to educate ourselves. You're not just worried about Soji. Our teachers have got a new platform and it's called Not Just the Tip. Anybody heard of it? So Not Just the Tip is a teacher's manual on how to teach sexual things to our children. In fact, the Netherlands has gone so far as to make private rooms for children to play with themselves. We don't want to go there. Your frontal lobe is not developed until you're 25 years old. <laughs> let them be kids. Let the boys play with dolls and let the girls play with trucks. I know I did. There's nothing wrong with that. And for the 0.16% that says that they are in danger for coming out to their parents, I highly suggest that the school, and maybe the police, and CPS, don't hate me because I said CPS, but we need to be talking to the parents about how to accept and help their children through that. We don't need to hide it from a parent if a parent's having problems with I know parents that still don't want to have the ABCs of nature with their children. It's uncomfortable for them. So we brought in sex education, how to have protected sex, how to have safe sex, how to have consensual sex, and how to respect your partner and not have sex until you are ready. Although, like, I'm a Christian. My children were taught you don't date until you're ready to marry. There's no point. You're going to get yourself in trouble. But that's my right to teach my children. 
just like it is everybody else's right to teach their children what they believe. So if you think of the stats of 0.16 of kids, one in 450 is having trouble with their parents. But yet we're going to take this away from the parents to suffice one child that can't go to his parents. Maybe there's a reason. When do we talk about neo-vaginas and neo-penises? When do we tell the kids that they're going to have to dilate four or five times a day? When are we going to tell them that they will never have a full sexual feeling because they're not meant to do that? When are we going to tell them about Lupron? Lupron is the very same drug that we give convicted sexual predators to sexually or to chemically castrate them. This is now being given to children that are transitioning? Are you kidding me? Do they know this? Do they know that they will never reproduce because they will be chemically castrated? No, they don't. Because just like they are hiding things from the parents, they are hiding things from the children and trying to tell the children, this will fix everything in your head. This will fix how you're feeling. This will fix what's going on with you. And that is not true. Children go through stages of confusion. For anybody that's a parent, good luck in the teenage years. <laughs> Puberty is not your friend. But that's a time where they find themselves. It's a time when they figure out what they love and what they don't love. It's a time to figure out whether they're jocks or geeks. Maybe they're a computer programmer. Let them go through puberty. Give them somebody safe to talk to. I'm all over that. I think that's great. But if we think that taking school resource officers out of the schools is going to help because kids are feeling threatened or triggered, that's not it. That is not it. For the record, school resource officers are not armed while they are in the school. Okay? So don't give me that they're walking around with guns and everybody's triggered. Right? I always say this as a former law enforcement. If you're scared of the police officer, what did you do wrong?